this is DC Channel Guns. Like and subscribe. Thank you for watching. Check out my merch on Teespring. I got a lot of shirts and stuff over there. Merchandise you can buy over there. And also, check out my other channel and stuff. Um, link below. You can subscribe over there. Appreciate that over there and everything. Also, if you want to contribute to the channel, support and everything. So, I appreciate it. So, um, thank you. What up? This is these Channel Guns. Coming at you with another ammo video. Appreciate the ones who found the channel and stuff. Thank y'all. Appreciate all the new people coming on. If you found my channel, thank you for your support. And, you know, also, um, very important, support your two-way channels, your gun channels out there. People, we need all the help we can right now. Also, I appreciate all the comments and stuff. I appreciate it if you just smash that like button, share it on your favorite social media platform. Also, subscribe, people. I got a lot of content that I'll be dropping out. Um, I do things a little bit different over here. Um, there is no schedule with me. You know, whatever I feel like that needs to be dropped, the two-way community to know about, the truth, or flying on the radar, people. Um, that's what I'm gonna do over here. We don't go with the popular stuff and everything because that is not important when it comes to your Second Amendment um, We still got a long fight ahead when it comes to the Second Amendment And we still need new people coming in people because we got a long fight ahead and it's real real long a lot of people Very short term when it comes to their Second Amendment. So uh, with that said Also, if you get a chance people get over there to DC Channel TV and subscribe over there and everything So we're building the numbers up. I appreciate Every single one of y'all that went over there, a whole bunch of y'all that went over there. If you follow, if you, you subscribe to the channel, follow me over there, people. So I appreciate that. And also, you already know what time it is, people. Let's get into it. Ammo, ammo, ammo time, people. It's ammo time. Ammo is new gold. Everybody's trying to get it. So right now, we're going to talk about ammo, people. I'm talking about, you know, I've been out here for a while talking about ammo, the two-way community talking about ammo. I'm talking about... You know, I'm going to say this because, like I said before, this is long-winded. Ammo is going to continue to go up, not down, people. If you're waiting to go down, I'm talking about. Now, in 2020, matter of fact, I'm going to go way back, 2019, 2018. I have been saying the same exact thing. A lot of you have been following me for a long time. Ammo is going to continue to go up. Now, this box of Blazer right here, 50 rounds, full metal jacket. Um, you see it at a lot of your retailers. I'm talking about, guess what? I'm talking about, I was paying $7.99 one time for this box of Blazer Brass. $7.99. I'm talking about the good old days, people. The good old days. Now, you might can get it if they're running some special or something. But on the average, people, this box of ammo in there is running at $20 in your retailers. And some of, sometimes it's $24, $25, and $30. Bucks. So it's continued to keep going up. And so I wanted to drop some news and stuff on you because, you know, a lot of people have been putting this in the comment section and stuff like that. And we're going to get into it. I'm talking about ammo prices expect to go up in April of 2022. I'm talking about, you know, I see many headlines saying ammo is going to go down by 2023. Then I'm seeing uh, ammo companies and manufacturers increasing their costs and stuff. You already got inflation. That is a big problem that the Fed uh, pretty much don't have a grip and stuff on. So. When, if you had looked at one of my old videos talking about the ammo, uh, when it comes to the ammo um, chart and stuff like that, one thing that has been pushing up costs when it comes to supplies, your primers, all this type of stuff, powder, everything, is inflation, people. Inflation has been there this whole time. So that's something to take a look at. You know, don't <laughs> the, all the material costs and stuff like that, inflation has been pretty much pushing up the price of ammo along with everything else. Yep. So your food prices have gone up. Look at your grocery stores. Food have jumped big time. I'm talking about, so think about it. And one thing, you got all this stuff going up, but a lot of people's income is not going nowhere. Still the same thing. So think about it. It's eating into your wallet, people. So uh, we're going to get into this article. We're going to talk about, you know, the ammo prices and stuff going up. And we're going to read through it and everything. So uh, I'm getting into this article. So what it's saying, basically, rising material costs induce Vista Outdoor ammunition price to go up. I'm talking about We've been talking about material costs, your raw materials and stuff, um, other countries, China and all the other places, pretty much been buying land up here in the United States, um, you know, pretty much driving the costs up on us, people. It don't hurt them. It's hurting us. We're doing a lot of imports now. You have this administration banning imports and ammunition. So it's very important, people. Your ammo is very important. That is the most important thing to the firearm. I keep telling people you can have a... A thousand firearms, it really doesn't matter if you ain't got the ammo to go with it. I'm talking about you just pretty much been building a collection of uh, metal and plastic, pretty much. So let's get into it, people. Now, in a bit of disappointing news towards the end of the year, shooters can expect 
another set of rising ammunition reloading component costs announced. Now, Vista uh, released this saying that their ammunition brand that the company has um, within its profile will see a set ammunition reloading component price increase in order to offset the rising cost of material. Furthermore, Vista Outdoors announced that there is no new primer order will be accepted until further notice due to such high demand. So you just heard it, people. Um, do because of their cost, they got to drive, raise the cost up on us. So that's pretty much what's happening. I know a lot of people said they ain't buying them on buying primers and stuff. Um, if you can get the primers, people. If you can get them, um, you see right here, they said they're taking no more orders for primers and stuff. So like I said, every single important part when it comes to your ammo, um, people's already on top of it and stuff. So a lot of people's been learning this. Uh, we're going to go to some more information. Now, we're going to read some information. Now, thank you for your business and for continuing to support American jobs and manufacturers. We've been talking about that. A lot of manufacturers have been moving different places, providing jobs and stuff for different towns, states, and stuff like that, getting incentives and stuff. Now, effective April the 1st, 2022, CCI, Federal um, Heavy Shot, Remington, and Spear Ammunition will take the falling price increase. Now, primers um, 5%, powders 5%, handguns 2 to 8%, and you better look at your state because state tax and all this kind of stuff, they tax uh, firearms and stuff and ammunition, and uh, rifles 3 to 8%, and shotguns 3 to 12%. So that's something that you need to take in effect right there. Now, also, additionally, due to continued demand, no new primer order will be accepted until further notice. Unless you notify us, to cancel an order, we will reprise. We will reprice all existing further orders shipped on or after um, April the first, twenty twenty-two. The new prices they're talking about. Now you receive your final price list no later than March the fifteenth. We're going to be watching that. That's going to be March the fifteenth, twenty twenty-two. And then um, they said, "Thank you for your continued support for our brand and American workforce." So just kind of ready that. Now you know that price is going up. And like I said before, people, um, it is not going to go down. So if you're still waiting on the fence, uh, we talked about it in 2020 during this uh, pandemic. We talked about it in 2021. Here we go in 2022. Now, I'm talking about don't be fooled by the shells. I'm talking about because more ammunition is coming on the shells. Don't be fooled by that, people. A lot of people have been fooled by that. I talked in 2021 in April shells before. I'm showing you plenty of videos. And, you know, that was your opportunity. Some people blink. Missed it, and boom, shells right back empty again. That's when we moved into the holidays. So now we're at the beginning of the year, people. And like I said before, have your plan, stick with it and everything. But guess what? We have administration who you never know what they're going to go pretty much throw out there on, you know, the two-way community and everything to get in the way of you getting your ammunition and stuff like that. So there's a lot of roadblocks that we're going to talk about over here at DC Channel Guns with that. But I want to give you that little information to confirm that ammunition is going up with material costs and everything. And the Federal Reserve people, I was watching them on TV today, have no control of this inflation. They're trying to get a handle on it. So um, you best believe the materials that we're importing and everything and the material that we're dealing right here in the country is going to continue to going up. So when that goes up, guess what? Your ammo is going to go up. And there's no retailer, ammo shop, none of these people that I have been to, talked to, I talked to a lot of people, is not going to take the cost for you. You're going to eat that cost, people. So with that said, this is this Channel Guns, and I'll catch you on the next one. This is DC Channel Guns. Like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.